Sandra, qui avait un petit truc qui se passait, elle, elle était dans son Blackberry tout le temps. Elle dit, viens, 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 viens voir. C'est une fille de Damas. Toi, tu dis, quoi Fille de Damas, avec du cul. Elle était allumée, pas juste le, le côté physique, allumée de ce qui se passait en Syrie, en Égypte. Elle me dit, regarde, je vais créer le blog Gay Girl in Damascus. Je pense que j'étais la followers numéro 2. A lot of people sent me this link as an inspirational story of the power of blogging and of women writing online. She was the type of story that news organizations love. Four words, gay girl in Damascus. When the Arab Spring started, they start arresting all the activists who might play any role in the uprising. herself a gay girl in Damascus. She was abducted by armed men believed to be working for the government. I got in touch with the embassy worker and I told her, you need to help us find her and put pressure on the Syrian regime. The first thing that we have to do if someone disappears is we need to contact the family to try and find out what's going on. We couldn't find any way of contacting the family. All of us we start to campaign for her in Twitter, in Facebook, By getting media attention, we can save her life. We can save her some torture. Basically, I posted the picture, tagged everybody. Did anybody see this girl? Anybody knows this girl? I came back empty-handed. No one could find out who she was. And that made me go, this is something was wrong here. I'm talking to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is real. There's no way that this is fake. The last thing I wanted on my conscience was wasting days or weeks debating her existence while she might have been in a jail somewhere. Are you sure that the gay girl in Damascus actually exists? Well, I couldn't tell you that for sure. No, I never spoke to her. I never spoke to anyone from her family. But seriously, somebody's writing, and I can assure you it's not me.